Marcus, that, that was a real good example of, of keeping at it and grinding out a result. Yes, it was. It was a, it was a bit flat today. I think you know, the second game of the Easter period adds to that. Um, maybe the situation we were in probably before the game, you know, we're a bit deflated by last last week's uh, last game's result against Gillingham, which we we thought might have um, might have uh, ended our chances of getting in the playoffs. But you know, off the back of the win today, and Millwall losing, the South South End losing, so it gives a bit of hope. So yeah, it's flat, flat just a flat day. I would say a flat performance. I think the energy levels weren't as high as they normally are. I think you can say the same for both teams really. Um, but we got a result, you know. We we we, we got a win nonetheless. So it's um it's, it's not always um, going to be energetic and fluid forward play. It was it was a good goal from Ellis who needed uh, Ellis who needed a goal. It was one of those where I mean, Oldham have been strung at the wrong end of the table. But actually, all season they've been very good defensively. They don't let in many goals, and you can kind of see why today. They, they sit deep and, and they're difficult to break down. Yes, they are. I mean, I think their, their pitch. Kind of as that, you know, it's very difficult to get any fluid kind of football going on there at their pitch. Um, but you know, their game plan here on our pitches, which is quite a decent pitch at the moment, it's looking very well. It's playing quick. But like you say, they they have got the strongest defence in the league, so they're all going to be tough to break down. But I just thought first half we didn't show the kind of forward running, the forward passing to to kind of test their defence. It was pretty easy for them, if I'm honest. Um, and I think it was the same for both defences. I think it was a middle third game, and both teams were were probing, but not really picking the right pass or, or making the um, making the runs to try and get in the end of a through ball. So I think um, second half it was a bit different, uh, and we you know, we had a match winner in Ellis, who was also a match winner in in, in defence towards the last ten minutes, making a couple of crucial headers away from our goal um, and crucial tackles to, to stop those to stop Oldham from scoring so Ellis adds value to this kid team and he showed it today Well, I mean, That goal in and of itself I mean, it looked like there was nothing on all of a sudden the ball's in the back of the net at the near post and that's what he is capable of Yes he is he, you know, he, 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 I don't think he scored since he scored four goals is that correct? I'm not 100% sure but I think that was the case and it was an important goal today so um, keeps us in the hunt a little bit and a little bit of a glimmer of hope I would say. And, and I have to confess this is obviously why I'm not a manager but there have been plenty around the Morris and wouldn't have been surprised if he'd been taken off before that because it probably wasn't his best of games up until that moment. Um, well I wasn't. I, I have full trust in Ellis and it's not always you, as a striker you don't always play well and score goals so it's about still keeping your focus when things aren't going your way to maybe take that opportunity when it when it comes to you and that was the case with Ellis today like I said he was he added he added value in both boxes today in defending and, and attacking so um, okay his middle third game could have been better but you know not 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 all your games always going to be perfect as a striker and um, it's important that you get a goal that's what you judged on at the end of the day and no one in five years time will look back and think about Ellis not playing too well in this game they'll they'll just see the, the stats and see that he scored a goal which, which was the winner yeah, and I suppose for him developing his game for the future we know he's capable of that spectacular it's, it's probably just making sure he doesn't have these 10 game strategies without goals against just that little bit more consistency it is yeah but I mean to get that consistency sometimes you need a run of games you know it's very difficult when we have you know some very good forward thinking strikers here so you've got to earn your minutes in this, in this team you can't you can take anything for granted if you're in the team for a game and you score a goal and then that might earn you the right to be in the team the next uh, the next game. You've got to score again or add, add some value to the team because if not, there's people waiting in the wings to, to take your place and, and score goals and do what the manager asks you to do. So um, it's about being consistent on the pitch as well to be able to get that consistent run. And the fact that you've taken it into the last two games of the season now, it's still with that chance of getting into the playoff places, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, we, we, we'll see how things go next Saturday. We've, we have been taking it each game as, as it comes because that's how it is. That's, that's what the situation we're in. But uh, still, out of our hands, of course, we'd like it to be in our hands, but it's not. Um, 
we just hope that Millwall or Southend none of them win in the next two games. Yeah. And I suppose the fact that you got Millwall last game gives you that opportunity to do something about that yourself. So it's really the, the next lot of results, if they go your way, it could be set for some, some grandstand, couldn't it? Well, yeah, they have to lose and we have to win our next games. That, that's, that's, that's it, really. That's how, it, that's how it is. It's an outside chance, a massive outside chance, I would say. But next game, we, we could be coming off the pitch... Um, Feeling like we are now, and have it, us having won, and them having having lost the game. So we just take it, see, see, how, see what happens after that game. We can't do anything about it at the moment. It's in our hands. We still need to win. It's that simple. We need to win two games. And I suppose the fact that you've been through this last season and the season before, frankly, and you all know what the score is in, in these sort of big games at the end of the season. I mean, different worlds last season. The odds were a little bit more in our favour. Yeah. I would say that's not the case today. Um, well, at this moment in time, with two games to go, so we will see how it goes next weekend. And, uh, and after a, yeah, a busy weekend, a, a well earned rest for a day or so at least. Yeah, I would think so. You know, it's it's Easter period is always busy. You know, along with the Christmas period, that's that's the way football is. That's the way we are. I mean, um, you know, I played to Oldham. They played they played yesterday, so they've only had forty eight hours, and they've driven obviously down to here at some point yesterday or today, and um, played themselves. So we've had an extra day's rest um, than them. I think it showed, if I'm honest with you, before we got the goal. I think it's inevitable that when we get the goal, they've got to push men forward because obviously they're in a relegation battle themselves, so they need to get some sort of result out of things, out of the game. And we're always going to drop off really and defend our box and defend the 1-0 lead, which is how it happened. But, um, you know, I don't think it was a lack of effort today. I just think people's energy levels weren't as high as they normally were. So everyone does deserve a bit of a break, I'm sure, to, you know, just to just to be able to recover and rest and be ready for the next game because like I said the Easter period does take out of you especially in the lower levels where you can't really change your squad around um, and players around because the squads aren't as big yeah. and, and just finally I was going to say defensively obviously another <coughs> clean sheet today I think that's eight that, uh, that Joe Lumley's had even in his relatively short spell here and with Sweeney in front of him and, and Tom Lockyer and you, you just look so <coughs> much more solid than perhaps you did six months ago at the back well I mean if you, if you say if you, you, you go in Half the seasons, the first half of the season, we've got 33 points. Second half, we've got 33 points. Two games to go. So um, that's where we're at. Well done today. Thank you.